Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. We're taking on a drive along in Montecito and Carpinteria today. I'm Joe Parker with the Santa Barbara Group, Berkshire Hathaway Real Estate. Rolling with my main man, Tyler, Tyler Young. Young. Just got out of statistics class, ready to see some cool houses. Oh, nice. <laughs> How was stats today? Uh, it was pretty numbery. Yeah. Put it that way. A lot of numbers. Hit that calculator. Yeah. Punching uh, them in. Yeah. So if you don't know, um, I don't think I've shared this, but Tyler's the son of my best friend met in junior high at Santa Barbara Junior High. Um, now Tyler's here going to City College and uh, interested in real estate, so he's interning with us, getting to know the business, and he loves coming out here, seeing all the properties. Who wouldn't? I mean, yeah. if you guys are watching this, because you love it too, and we like taking you along. This is when the brokers go preview the new listings so we can report back to our buyers and um, let them know what the inventory is looking like, what the new listings are looking like. And we wanna share this tour with you, so stick around as we go through, I think three or four homes today. We're gonna start in the deep foothills of Carpinteria. You guys loved that house on Cravens Lane back in the Padaro Beach house video. A lot of comments about that home. It's in escrow now. They got two offers after that video post. I thought we would go back in that same kind of neighborhood, but even a little bit deeper up to Shepherd's Mesa. And um, this is going to be two homes up here that we get to see today. So the first one's coming up shortly. Stick around. If this sounds like something you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel. You'll get notifications every time we uh, post a new video. And I'm doing these about every Saturday. So great way to get to know the community, understand what the houses are like, what the neighborhoods are like. You know, educate yourself if this is the place you want to be. And if it is, I make these so that you feel comfortable to introduce yourself to me. So don't hesitate to do that if you ever want to have a conversation about your potential particular needs and what you're looking for so we'll see a house here shortly all right we're at our first one a little details what we're gonna see here this is 73 73 Shepherd Mesa we've got a four bedroom four bath recently built single level great architecture lots of wow factor so let's go take a look and this one's listed at six million four hundred ninety five thousand all right here's the street view on this one Nice little uh, gated driveway. Flat roof. They've got the, uh, the gravel on the roof that matches the road, the driveway. It's interesting. Nice olive trees and boulders as you enter here. Got a little motor court roundabout up top with some lemon trees. All right. An interesting wall here too. They got the rock. All right, look at this entry. Got this great stonework here and then this door on the pivot, steel and glass. I'm barely touching that and it moves with ease, but it's a massive door. And then they've got the plaster on the walls, Venetian plaster. Truly, really smooth and beautiful and the recessed lighting. Now, that's enough with the walls. Let's take in this room. Got this incredible centered fireplace with the really cool tile detail with the texture on it. This great room here has this real clean modern kitchen. Flush cabinetry with the stainless steel appliances. Really nice high ceilings in here. Transit windows up there, tons of light. And then this dining room, fully open right now, convertible dining room with these doors. And look at this living room. Now this patio is really stunning. The way that it's perched up here, you got a fire pit, jacuzzi, and the infinity edge pool. Hi, good 
just perched above all the agriculture down there and carp and then if you look this way you've got some really cool views towards Santa Barbara there it's foggy today on the ocean but you could see Santa Barbara peeking out and those points going from Montecito or carp to Montecito into Santa Barbara all right let's go back in the house here Continuing past the kitchen. What is this room over here? A little pantry room, it looks like. If you want an espresso zone, you got it. All your countertop appliances. This is the perfect way to stash them away so they're not cluttering the kitchen. Got speakers and sprinklers and recessed lighting throughout. Nice. It is nice. It's incredible. All right, our powder room here. Look at this cool sink. Interesting wallpaper. I dig it. Little squirrel. All right. Okay, one of the rooms being used as an office. Lots of glass. These beautiful steel and glass windows throughout. Another really amazing sink. Look at the detail on that one. And then you come in and you've got this glass partition into where the shower is and a tub with the view. Wow. And a door to the outside. That glass partition's hard to see. All right, another bedroom here. Big ceilings in here too. We've got close to 20 foot ceilings, I would guess. And from that bed, you could see that view down the coast that I showed you earlier. So, wow, amazing. I know someone that would love this house. All right, let's go find these other rooms. What do we got? A laundry room. Okay. Another nice wash basin. Always good to have. Okay, here's a uh, guest suite, looks like. Just really love the plaster on the walls. It's got a nice little tint to it. Closet. Let's see what this bathroom's looking like. Okay. Nice glass shower. Oh, look at that. Artichoke heart out there. Or the artichoke, the whole thing. The heart and everything else. Now, let's go find that primary bedroom. Okay. You enter and you have this dramatic closet door. Beautiful round window there. Look how thick the wall is too. That's nice. And then you've got this big closet odd shaped. It's part of the architecture of this home. It's not all right angles. It's kind of cool. And then, ooh, look at this hex tile here. Big square Carrera marble tile on the wall over there. Got these beautiful round mirrors matching the round sinks. Big skylight above me, so I'm getting drenched with sunlight. A water closet. Big, beautiful shower. And everything has access to the outdoors. Look at another door out from the bathroom. Just brings in all that indoor outdoor living and brings in a lot of natural light. Whew. 
This is nice. Okay, and then we've got lots of concrete patio space, including that fire pit, the jacuzzi, the pool, and then a little mini vineyard down here. Uh, Let's see what kind of grapes these are. Uh, if you're into growing some grapes, and uh, the neighbor over there, very private. I don't see any neighbors that are looking in. I see some roofs, but no windows access. They're still pretty private and far away from each other. So I would consider this to be very private. Wow. And then a nice little outdoor sitting area here. And it wouldn't be complete without a nice little outdoor kitchen. There's where the barbecue goes down. There's a sink there on that island as well. A little peninsula. Some more gardening going on down here. And the side of the house. So there it is. I'll take it. Amazing. All right, we got one more here in Shepherd's Mesa. Oh, wow. Okay. What'd you think of that one, Tyler? That was easily my favorite house that I've been able to tour with you. It was, I mean, so quiet, even uh -huh. though it was like just a one story thing. It was really pretty. Views were amazing. I don't. It felt like just the right size too. Like yeah. I don't like these big, huge houses. Like I don't want that much square footage, but that was just the right it size. Was. It was. And they had a lot. That entrance was kind of what took it, mm -hmm. took it for me. Mm -hmm. It just smacks you in the face. It like, does. bam, look at that. It does. I love it when you walk in, you just look right through to the main view as you enter and that there's so much glass, so much access points to the outdoors. It was an awesome house and I think it was a relatively reasonable price. Yeah, I think so, you know. Um, I mean, something like that, more local in Montecito and Santa Barbara might be a little more expensive. Way more, way yeah. more. Like that in Montecito is probably more like 11. Ooh. Okay, look at this, we're gonna hit one more over here because this is uh, our lucky day that they're together and this area is just so beautiful. It's been a while since I've been up here on Shepherd's Mesa and I'm really glad that uh, we decided to come here because we got ourselves two for one. <laughs> you want a ride? <laughs> I might need a ride back. Okay. But it's but this is a one way, so it's okay. It's <laughs> oh. all good. The so walking's good for me. Yeah. What are we looking at? Seventy four twenty seven Shepherd's Mesa. Three bedroom, three bath, four million two hundred and fifty thousand. Mm. We've got another modern. This one's mid century. And uh, lots of great outdoor living space. Believe that. I like the Timbuktu. Yeah, street view on this one. Look at we went down that kind of private drive which serviced a couple homes, and you've got the killer views at the end here. And really interesting um, the way that this white wall and the entrance is draped with these trees. So that's what we came down there. So only passed a couple of houses as you enter this, like the water feature. All right, here we go. This one's really unique with these slanted windows as you come in here. So you've got a tint on them as well, kind of keeps it cool, nice recessed lighting. But it really, it's like being in a ship almost, an airship. I could just stare at this view all day. Great outdoor living space there. Look at this little dining zone.
right, there's one of our baths, dual sinks. And uh, off the front room here, or off the entry is this front bedroom, which could be our main bedroom. Closet. Rustic, elegantly rustic. Some built-in storage here. Interesting tile on the wall too here. And look at this, you could escape your shower if you need to jump out the back. Well, since it's there, let's continue. Let's see what this little cubby is back here. Oh, a little work shed. Vibey. I like it. And then this is a little private outdoor space. It's part of the entrance. Go the way we came so no one gets confused. Um, back through the shower. It's so interesting walking through the shower. And the kitchen, it's got the stainless on the countertops. That's cool. The chefs would love that. Kind of a zero wood on the cabinet. Six burner cooktop. Oh, yeah, definitely a chef living here. Double oven. Dual sinks, big island with plenty of room for people to sit at. And then you've got a nice dining area. Yeah, you could tell this was definitely a cook. Look at this dining table. You can see some dinner parties breaking off out here. That deck kind of cantilevered over there. Kind of nice. Barbecue zone. Peaceful. Look at these. I see a little garden dining area down there too. All right, there's some more down here. Ooh. All right, this looks like almost a little guest apartment vibe to it. Check out the bathroom. It's pretty sweet. All right, look at this. Bed with a view. Little gym set up here, it looks like. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at this shower. Got the rain head up above. Very cool. And then it looks like a jacuzzi out here. Nice little sun deck. Beautiful. And then one more little chill zone off this downstairs. In case it's a really hot day, you know, you can get out here in the shade. And since we're down here, let's go see that garden dining area. So we're not far from, like if you go straight to the coast from here, we'd be close to where Rincon Point is. So any surfers watching this knows where Rincon is. So that would be kind of your uh, shot to the beach, especially if you're trying to find some surf. Um, it's just on the other side of that ridge right there across the, the view. All right, and then we've got this patio, the main patio out here. Uh -huh. 
like this little deck with the little sitting area. All right, what was the price of that one again? It was like four million two hundred fifty. Yeah. So, what's the spread on those two? Six five and four two fifty. All right, so two and a quarter difference. That makes sense, I guess. Yeah, you're getting a little more space, and yeah, the first one feels a little nicer. Oh, way nicer. Yeah. I mean, and um, but yeah, I'm just trying to compare on that on the values there. I mean, the, the first one was way, way nicer. Is even more than 2.25 nicer? Uh, or is that about on par? I would say it's pretty on par, but I mean, I feel like that, if you're looking for something a little bit more smaller and cozy, mm -hmm. that second house is a pretty good option to yeah. take. It had some rustic elegance with a little bit of zen vibe in there as well. Super zen. All right. Let's make our way back to Montecito now. We got two, or at least one, I think we're going to go see here on Sheffield. Nice property, but yeah, look at this canyon. This takes you, um, the, I think it's the 150 highway that goes out to Ojai over here. And, um, Bates Road up here and Rincon, so we're pretty deep Carpinteria. Um, you get a lot more for your money, but if you want that privacy, and one of the neighbors was telling us about how the stargazing out here is incredible. So if you love stars, you love nature, you love quiet, you don't mind being a little bit in the boons, and um, then this is this could be the spot for you. All right, we made it. It looks like this gate services two addresses. Let's see what we got down here. This one is just under 11 million. A nice little estate here on Sheffield. I'll give you the details as soon as we find our way to the end of this driveway. All right, so the neighbor breaks off to the right. And the house to be toured here, nice little Spanish. separates the uh, the garage from the main entrance a nice estate play there when you got the garage in a kind of a separate zone you don't see it when you drive up to the house 290 Sheffield Drive five bedrooms six baths we got 10 million 975 all right a little lay of the land here there's that two-car garage and the stone house is one more garage there, so this is what we drove through here. And I'm back to the front entrance. I like how they got the stone here on the turret there. Provides a lot of nice architectural drama. Let's go see what this looks like inside. Nice little entry fountain to greet you. The rustic cut stone. All right, you enter here, greeted by the staircase. And then, nice big open living. Big open beam, nice vaulted ceiling. You get to live here, but you have to paint over here. That's right. Does cost extra. You mean you share a bedroom and it's $1,400? I've got a good spot going on. His folks were smart. They got a place right when you got into school. All right, nice dining room. Again, with the big vaulted ceiling carrying through. And some cool little details. You got the built-ins for your art. Then this goes through to the kitchen. Imagine we're gonna pass a pantry here. Black on the cabinets. And the honey color here on the tile and the stone. And the tile backsplash and the stone matching nicely. 
little workstation down here. And we got our dining area. Looks like a little breakfast nook area. A wet bar in the corner. And then the family room. Uh, I could hear the creek in the background. Got the shade of this beautiful oak tree. Cute little pool, modest in size, but enough to get wet there. And you can see we got a big grassy yard area adjacent to where we parked and a little barbecue island here built in. Seeing some beautiful roses. Have a little patio off some of the other rooms. And then you got this dining area outside with a big fireplace. More of that stonework. Look how they break up the stucco with the stone. All right, let's go check out some of the rooms. This looks like our powder room. Coat closet there, a couple steps up. All right, nice bright bedroom here. looks like it's got two closets, French doors. This one's en suite with this bathroom attached. The classic detail here with the shower curtain behind the curved wall there. Wood floors in here and then back to the hexagon Satillo style tile. I guess we've got garage finished, nice. Laundry room. That you pass through in order to get to your wine storage. All racked out and ready. Another suite. This one's got one big walk-in closet, it looks like. A little bit of a vault in the ceiling here to the wood floors and then this bathroom. Okay, look at this. This looks like the primary. Love that Kiva style fireplace. Another cool round window up top there. Little balcony looking right into that beautiful oak tree outside. It's nice to have out of your bedroom. Hear the creek roaring. Massive closet. Little makeup station. Dual sinks.
little Juliet balcony on this one. Back to the dual closets. Again, en suite. It's nice. A couple more coat closets. Ooh, and then like an upstairs bonus room, rec room, family room, entertainment. Speakers and lighting all dialed in in here, dual sinks, another shower. And then, oh, workstation back here. Okay, leaving Sheffield. That was uh, a beautiful home. Love the yard. Love that creekside setting with the water running in the background. Plenty of room, every, every room was en suite. Not much to complain about on that one. Not huh? a lot. There was a lot of space on that one. All right. Would you take that over? If you just want a house, would you take that one or would you take Shepherd Mesa, the I'm first one? Taking the first one, Shepherd. Really? Easily. Dang. Easily. I mean, you get the views. As it, it's not as much space and it's not as nice, but uh, I didn't actually know. I'd say it's it's very similarly nice, but man, I just I like being out away from things and yeah. having that quiet. All right. Not for you. Well, you know, well, you're fine, Tyler. I, I tend to agree. So let us know what you think. I appreciate you guys watching. If you like these videos, check out the channel. There's a bunch of stuff about Santa Barbara and Montecito, the different neighborhoods, what they're like living in them. And we're posting these drive along videos about once a week, every Saturday morning, you'll see these hits. So subscribe to the channel, make sure you're catching that stuff. And uh, like I said, introduce yourself. If you want to talk more about what your needs are or check out the link below in the description i'll have a way for you to sign up for our newsletter if you're interested in that i can set you up at the direct link into the mls um, all kinds of ways we can stay connected if you're interested otherwise i appreciate you watching thanks everyone make it a great one i'm joe parker i'm Tyler young peace out peace